Monday's off. You know, I was a little disappointed. We, you know, with the trip we we were getting, that we weren't able to maybe go on a little bit at the eighth hole. That kind of seems to be something that he struggled with uh, throughout his young career, early career. And uh, you know, obviously, Howling Town's a good horse as well. So it's not as if we, you know, we were you know, that horse ran a big race here, uh, first part of the meet. But you know, look, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I actually walked down to where the saddle six on saddles because I thought we got beat. But uh, you know, I was very shocked that we were put up. I thought it could be either the four on top or dead heat, but uh, they put our number up. I'm happy. Hopefully we can uh, you know, move forward off of this. They ran it fast. Yeah, they yeah, you know, I, yeah, yeah, no, they did run fast and, uh, you know, nice moderate pace up front. Um, nice, nice trip off the horse is right there with us. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can build off of it because, you know, our goal is obviously races like the Haskell, the Travers, but, you know, we are going to have to move forward. Um, what might be his next start then, I think? Yeah, you know, Al Gold, no secret, is a, uh, you know, uh, a man that, you know, supported New Jersey racing for a long time and was lived there in Haskell. It would be, you know, probably goal number one. Uh, Jim Dandy's on the table. I think those are the two logical spots moving forward. Um, I'm not saying that there's not a plan C, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. What did you think at the... At the at the wire. Uh, no, excited about the outcome of the race. Uh, I thought uh, that was very close. I really thought his head uh, was done uh, at the right hand on the right on the mirror. Uh, I thought I was pretty much you know, hey. controlled the whole time. And, uh, and he just put some tricks on me all the time. If I wait longer, uh, he doesn't pass the horse. If I move sooner, he, he stops and starts going left and right. It's a very uh, tricky horse, ton of ability, but uh, uh, he's gonna have to uh, step it up uh, mentally if he wants to to win the Yeah, that's what um, Brad was saying. That with the trip you got, he he's a little disappointed he didn't go on and take care of. No, exactly. I mean, business. I mean, it's always tough to run down a horse when you get such an easy lead. But I really thought I had him pretty much the whole time. You know, I was like right off, you know, on his flank. It's not like I was pulling him uh, three, four lengths. Uh, like I said, excited about the outcome, but disappointed of what. Uh, what was that? Uh, you know, talk of just a comment on his derby. Obviously, that wasn't. No, the I outcome. mean the derby is very simple. It was the, the end. Didn't take me too long to figure it out. Uh, the pace was way too hot, and all the horses who were, you know, from first to fifth, sixth, everybody uh, totally collapsed. So you can tell that the pace was just way too hot. Those horses never got a chance to have a nice breather, and they just, uh, they just, they just uh, couldn't do it anymore. They just, uh, they just stopped. But this was a good effort. For, I mean, they ran fast. No, I ran fast, but I'm telling you, I, I had a lot more horse than that, and he, he didn't give it to me. That was a tough beat. Yeah, it was. Not, not the first one, be the last. But I, I, hats off to my horse. I mean, I, I, I mean, uh, you hate to get beat like that, but I mean, I was very proud of him. He, he laid, he laid his, uh, laid his heart down, ran as hard as he could, just, huh? Just got out and nodded there. What did you at the wire? Did, what did you think? I mean, it was very close. It was a matter of a head bob. I, I mean, right, right before, right after the wire, my horse was in front. I mean, it's just one of those races neither horse deserved to, to lose, you know, and uh, just unfortunate that we did, but 
I, I, again, I was just very, very proud of his effort.